All right, back for part two of um, initial tips and tricks, hockeys and shortcuts, uh, jumping into Blender from Maya. So first one I'm gonna talk about is Shift Tab. Shift Tab uh, turns on your snapping tools up here. Uh, so you know you can snap vertices, edges, faces, all that stuff. Shift Tab will turn it on and off. Okay, really handful um, hockey. Uh, F3 for searching for tools. This is super handy, especially when you're watching other tutorials. Uh, from other uh, YouTube channels, they might be saying, go and, you know, go to this tool, right? And you might not be able to follow along, or maybe they have a different version of Blender, and you can't find the tool that they're talking about. F3, type in the tool that they're talking about, and it should find it for you. Tilde Pi key. So tilde is the key next to the one, or the key below it, escape. If you press that, you can go quickly to different views. This is super helpful for when you're uh, modeling and you want to switch back and forth between uh, the, the different uh, orthographic views, okay? Also, you can go to views um, selected, which is um, essentially focus in Maya. Uh, so you can just zoom into that one asset, or that one object that you wanna focus on. Next one is gonna be W. I use W so much. W is just essentially going back to the selection box. Um, so while you're like, you know, editing and modifying your asset, um, switch back and forth uh, between um, select quite often. So uh, W, you're gonna be using it a lot, trust me. Transparency or no or uh, no back face or x-ray mode essentially is Alt Z. Very, very handy for when you um, want to uh, select things like that, for example, right? Because if you don't have x-ray mode on and you try to, to select that, you're not gonna get all the vertices. So it's very, very helpful to switch back and forth, Alt Z. And then um, for scaling, so for example, if you wanted to uh, scale, say these here, and you wanted to, um, or sorry, let's, let's, let's scrap that. Okay, let's say you want to move this. So you press G uh, to move, that's the hotkey for move. And then you press, X, for example, it's only going to move it on the X axis. So constraints, right? Really, really handy. Um, so again, uh, scale is uh, S. Let's say I want to scale it only on the Z axis. If I press Z, it's only going to scale the Z, right? So really helpful. Um, essentially clicking one of these and then just locking in which axis you want it to go to uh, is super, super helpful. So again, Selecting that object, uh, press the hotkey for it. So if it's rotate, and then you want it to rotate on the Z axis only, then you just press the that one um, axis uh, button, and it will lock it to that constraint. Loop select. So this is really helpful. Uh, it's Alt uh, to select the loop, right? Um, and you have to be very, very. Um, if you select it closer here uh, to the edge here, it'll, it'll know to go uh, to go around that route. But if you go, for example, you select up top here, it's going to think that you want to go up this way. So be very, very cautious with that. Same with uh, pick closest. So if you only want to select this one to this one, um, see it kind of does some weird stuff. But if you wanted to go maybe here to here, hold control and then left click will allow you to pick the shortest uh, it's called pick the shortest which is like pick the shortest route to that to that face so there you go those are just some uh, part two of just like some quick initial tips and tricks to uh, switching from Maya to Blender